Hey, what's up everybody? Welcome to Awesome Tubies and today I have a special unboxing. So I just got a package from Samsung. So I ordered this um, for Black Friday sale. So they're giving, giving a lot of special at Samsung.com right now. So I couldn't help it, so I have to get it. So I ordered the Samsung Z Fold 3 5G and they sent me a bunch of stuff. So it's part of the package. So this thing is on sale right now um, with the student discount and everything. It came out to be like $1,040 with the trade-in, of course. Um, yeah, so here I have the Z Fold 3 5G. So when you buy a Z Fold, you get the Galaxy Buds 2. And I think they give you um, a wireless charger as a package for Black Friday. So this is what I got. And I couldn't help it, so I got more stuff. So I got the 35 watt power adapter dual. This thing is with a USB Type C, USB Type A. Um, also, I added a Galaxy Smart Tag, and I got the Z Fold 3. Um, cover flip cover with the pen so I'm gonna do that on a separate uh, review so I'll put this aside so yeah so these get free and these I have to get for like another $80 so this thing by itself is like 80 bucks already so if you added these they can the charge you 80 bucks so pretty much get these for free so yeah so I couldn't help it so yeah this is the Black Friday sale I think you if you also buy the Z flip you also get these too for free too so it includes in the package um, to give a big discount right now. So, yeah, that's it from the box. But yeah, they sent me a bigger box, but you know, I couldn't fit this and everything in the, the shot. So, yeah, so let's unbox the Z Fold 3 5G. So, this is not my first Z Fold, but I want to unbox you guys. So, I have one right here. Same color, everything. Just want to do the unboxing experience for you guys. So, let's cut it out. So if you're new to my channel, happy hit the subscribe button, please consider hit the subscribe button. Um, if you like this video, please smash the like button. Don't forget to hit the share button also. So I'm cutting the box right now. Um, they don't do the plastic covering, just like Apple. Everything is just box and sticker and they try to, you know, do that to save the earth. Stop wasting plastic. So yeah, so cut and let's unbox this thing. So right there you can see the C Fold box and this is the phone the Z Fold 3 5G and look at this it looks pretty nice and I got the silver color um, my second one is also silver so I didn't want to go with black I like the silver so it looks nice it's very clean if this go with the clear case it will be awesome yeah would you rock this thing without a case so yeah, it looks really nice. And look at that, it says Samsung. So on the top, you can see the speaker, the mic on both sides right there, both mics. On the bottom is USB type C charger. Um, doesn't have the 3.5 millimeter jack, but it has have a speaker. So you wanna plug in some wires, so you need to get an adapter for USB type C. So let's see what else is in the box. So it um, comes with the SIM injector, so you need this key to inject your SIM, get the SIM tray out right here. They do include the USB Type-C um, wire adapter, but they don't include the brick. So you need to buy the brick separate, so that's why I got the brick, okay. And inside there's a quick start guide and how you start your default so yeah it looks pretty nice uh i got the unlocked version so it's pretty cool um right here let's see look exactly like my other one um cool thing about this phone it folds you know it looks different you know you look like royalty rolling outside with the folding phone so that's what's cool right now and it looks exactly like my older one that I ordered like a month ago 
But yeah, the thing I don't like is the screen protector. When you put on the case, it's gonna the screen protector gonna come out. So I recommend you guys get like um, glass screen protector outside, and on the inside, get another screen protector on top of it. So yeah. So this thing gonna get scratched sooner or later. So yeah, this thing is IP68. Um, IP68. No. Okay, so. Yeah, right here you can see it's exactly the same phone. It's got a second one. So I like it so much that I got the second one. And yeah, it looks pretty cool. Looks really nice. Can't go wrong with the C fold. So yeah. Um from my experience from using the phone, um it's a little bit on the heavy side. So, yeah, so if you're gonna wear your tight jeans, you're gonna have a problem with this phone carrying around. Uh, I usually carry two phones, so I don't mind carrying a heavy phone. And let's start up the phone and see. Oh, yeah, let's use the SIM injector so you guys can see what it's all about. So, let's take it out. So, the SIM injector key right there so uh, what I don't like about this phone is there's they don't have the expandable memory storage so if you take out before Samsung there's a storage you can put the micro SD card in here now it's just enough for the sim and this is the 256 version um, the reason I got the silver because I like the silver and if I go with 512, they only come in black. So I don't like that color. Um, me, I don't like black color. So, you know, and it doesn't look as clean as the silver. Silver look more futuristic, so to me. So when you open the phone, let's start up the phone. Press button right there. Let's see, start up. What I like about this phone better than the C Flip is the fingerprint scanner. It's like lower. The Z Flip is all the way up here. So for those of you with small phones, uh, small hands, yeah, so you're gonna have a problem on your C Flip. So starting up, starting Android, and let's put this on the side, right there. And this is welcome screen. So this is the setup part. So if you don't want to see the setup part, just skip this part. So. English so you have term condition pretty sure you have read everything and go to next and you have to add in your Wi-Fi and you either enter the name or you can search so mine's right there so now I need to put in the password so after you enter the password it says connect it and you just go next so it's getting your phone ready, uh, may take a few minutes. So yeah, I couldn't believe they give this big of a discount, not even on launch date, they give this much of a big discount. So I'm trading my S10 Plus, they're paying 425 for the phone, which is like a two, like 2019 phone with over two years old. So I couldn't believe they pay for that much. So. So you can do copy apps and data. You can transfer your phone, um, you know, transfer from Google account. So you just go next. So you have your old phone like this. You just pop it out and you know, you can just set it up so you can transfer from your Android, iPhone or iPad devices. Let's go next. So it's updating smart switch. So right now it's downloading and using your Wi-Fi. So setting up without syncing your phone is take pretty quick, five to 10 minutes. But if you, you're trying to sync you from your old Android to this thing, probably take a while, especially when you do it over Wi-Fi. And um, with the cable, it's gonna be a little bit faster. So I'm gonna set up, try to set it up up first where you guys can see um, what's the stock apps that comes with this phone. So right here it says Galaxy, da, 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 da. so you can do, you know, what old devices. 
I'll just go skip for now. Don't copy. And I'll just do copy later for you guys. So it's setting up right now. Um, you can sign into your Google and you skip. I'm just going to skip for now. Makes things a lot quicker. So you can use your location more. Um, just go accept. Um, I'm just going to skip all the protection. So this phone, it recognizes your face uh, recognition, your fingerprint pattern, pen or password. doesn't matter. I'm going to skip for now. So yeah, you guys can see it. So Samsung account, you can skip that if you don't want. Just skip. And next. So it's all set up. You know, finish. Bam, pretty much you're done setting up your phone. Uh, stock, as, you know, as stock uh, without copying anything. So yeah, so if you have a SIM, just pop it in and this is a long version, so. Yeah, so this is all the stock apps that comes with it. Uh, contacts, clock, Facebook, Galaxy Store, Gallery, Game Launcher, Internet, Messages, Netflix. Um, Samsung's free, which I really like. Um, it gives you free like internet channels um, to like old like sitcoms and TV shows and movies. Uh, very uh, similar to Pluto. So um, it comes with uh, YouTube Music, Tips, Spotify, Samsung Notes, Samsung Global Goals, and right here, this is the Google Apps that it comes with. Google Chrome, Google, Gmail, Maps, YouTube, Drive, Google Play mo mo Movies and TV, Google Play Movies and TV, Dual, and Photos. And these are the Samsung apps that, that's pre-installed. So right here, you can see the Galaxy Shop, Galaxy Wearable, Files, Pinup. Uh, Bixby, AZ Zone, Samsung Member, Perfect. Smart Switch. So if you want to um, sync your from your old phone to your new phone, you use uh, Smart Switch. Um, right there. Let's get out. So this is all the stock apps that comes with the phone. Um, what I like about the phone because I have, you know, this is my second one. So you can set it up like this, and sometimes if you want to take uh, like a picture or something, you know, you just Right now it's like folding down, but yeah, right now it's looking up. Then use the the front facing camera, which is not the best camera. It's only a three megapixel right there. Yeah. Um, what you do, we want to switch to your other camera. So this one is a lot better. Right there, you can see. And it's more a lot more clear, but since you're looking from my camera, it's not as clear in person. It's a lot pretty like snappy. And look at the picture. Oops. Right there, you can see the, fo the photo. It looks pretty good. Um. Yeah, I like to see how fast it is, and the display is 120 hertz, so it's pretty plenty fast. Um, the app right here, the Samsung free is one of my favorite. So you just have to do all and agree. And they got like good shows right in here. You can see Hell's Kitchen, Kitchen Nightmare. They have MTV. That's pretty cool. Um, yeah, Unsolved Mysteries. For forensic File, if you like those kind of stuff. They have Latino channels too. Movies. So they have Stargate. So they have a lot of movies, a lot of stuff. Um, there's another app from Samsung that I like is, let me see, Samsung TV Plus. It's pretty similar, but they kind of have a different station so you can watch TVs. So right now, if you buy the Samsung Flip, they give you four months of YouTube. So that's the bonus. What I like about Samsung, they give you YouTube and Spotify and all the stuff so yeah okay so I'm gonna do the smart switch um, you guys probably know the spec a lot you can read up online so you could see 2c flip that I have I mean 2c fold three phones just awesome right 
same color. I didn't like the green or the black, so that's why I got the silver. So what you want to do is you go to your Samsung Smart Switch and click on it. And you go on to your old phone, maybe you want to switch over and agree to the term, then allowed. Then which this phone going to be the receiving end. So you're going to click receive and open on this phone. And let me see if I can find the app on this one. Let's search that smart switch right there. And this is a phone to send the data to the new phone. So, so you, you can either pick, you want to do wired, which I have would be a lot faster or you can do Wi-Fi. So I'm going to plug in this phone into this thing. So let's plug it in. Now it recognizes, right? It's charging each other. So receiving and this is allowed phone data. So it's connecting to the another Z phone. Now it's transferring right now. You could see that 14%. It's pretty quick with the wired though. So Samsung gave 50% battery from the box. So that's pretty good. Um, I top it up at 96% on this one, but I went down a little bit. I think I was at 99%. So I'm going to wait to see how long it takes to transfer this. So. So now it asks you what kind of stuff you want to copy over from your new phone to your old phone. So total I have about 32.46 gig of stuff that I want to transfer. So I'm just gonna click everything and transfer. Some of the stuff they can't, so it has a little explanation mark. So some of the stuff I can't transfer. So let's transfer as much as possible. So I'm just gonna do transfer. So it's connected. So transfer my account from the old one. Then copy. Then you have to scan your fingerprint to allow. So it's copying my account to the new one. So So I don't know how long it takes, but it's at 0% calculation right now. I'm going to let it wait. So the wire is pretty fast though. So you can see it says 14 minutes. So I'm going to wait, see how long it takes. All right, almost done. Only one minute left, 99%. And this one is transferring, one is receiving. So yeah, didn't take too long, about 20 minutes. So I'm still waiting, um, just to make sure everything is transferred. So now it's done. So you can click close on this side and get out the app. And just go to home screen on this side. So it's copying right now. Um, just can't see it yet. It's still copying. Uh, the data is in here. I just need to populate the screen later. So I'll show you guys later. But yeah, the app's gonna notify later. You know, pop up. Um, the only thing is you have to set up your wallpaper and screen everything uh, stuff are still downloading 
So yeah, so what's what's so good about this phone? So the first thing that you notice, this is a Z Fold, you know, it's, full, it's a foldable phone. Um, you know, there's not many out there. So you're gonna look unique and this is a pro status, you know? So you look pro status uh, wise, so you know? Um, so yeah, that's what I like about the phone. It's very unique. Uh, it's not like a regular slap phone, you know, like an iPhone. Um, so many people have iPhones. You don't look special anymore. So yeah, let me turn on this side. Yeah, so you can see it's almost exactly one is folded and one's not. Um, so you can see there's three cameras in the back, uh, 12 megapixel, um, one in the front and one on the inside, which is um, not, a, a, not a good camera. So um, it's a 12 gig RAM. This thing is a Snapdragon 888 5G, 12 gig of RAM. Um, it has a small battery for a triple screen phone, 4,400 milliamp, which is a small battery for this phone. Um, some days, um, the battery drain faster than the other, depend on which screen you use. If you use the outside screen, the battery drain less, but if you use the, the battery, um, if open your phone a lot and use it, then it'll drain a lot faster. Uh, it supports CDMA and GSM um, SIM, so it work with Verizon and T-Mobile and AT&T and other carriers. So this phone launched in 2021, August, and now it's November. So I got this phone first, then I ordered that for Black Friday sale. So um, the, the glass is Gorilla Glass Victus, which is um, the foldable one. And yeah, the outside is also Gorilla Glass Victus also. Uh, it's IPX8, uh, water resistant, but not dust resistant. So you have to be careful when you go to the sand or somewhere dusty. Uh, stuff could go into the cracks and stuff where the photo will part and might damage your phone. Um, and this thing comes with the Android operating system OS 11. This is a Snapdragon 888 5G uh, octa-core. Um, downside, it doesn't have expandable memory. But depends on which version you get. This is a 256 uh, gig of storage. If you want the black one, which has 512 gigabit of storage. So, you know, people could opt for that. Um, plenty of room for inter an internal storage. All three cameras are triple 12 megapixel. The only bad one is the one on the inside, which I don't like. The single selfie one is like a four megapixel. So yeah, it's pretty bad, the selfie camera. Um, the speaker is from a stereo speaker on the bottom and on the top. So if you play music or something, really awesome. Uh, support Wi-Fi 6 and all the other Wi-Fi's. And this thing support NFC, which is Samsung Pay and Google Pay. If you guys like Google Pay, yeah, you can use Google Pay on this one. Just have to download the app and turn on your NFC. And this thing only comes with USB type C, which is not, you know, ideal for me because I need the 3.5 millimeter jack so I can plug in my beats. So for the charging, fast charging support at 25 watt, wireless fast charging at 11 watt. So if you do a reverse charging, which is when you put your old phone on top of your, old, your new phone, it charge at 4.5 watt, which is really slow. Um, but if you need something like charge your earbuds or AirPods or some other phones or your buddy's phone, then yeah, it charges with no problem at all. So it comes in three colors. Uh, it comes in black, dark green, and silver like this. So I like the silver the best, which is the cleanest color of all. Plus I, plus I have sticky fingers and greasy finger. You can see the fingerprint like on the side of my screen, you can see. So that's why I opt for the lighter colors. And the performance in this phone is pretty good. You can do multiple stuff. You can go on YouTube, watch videos. Yeah, so yeah, the screen is huge. 
and plenty of room for watching anything that you want depends on how you turn the screen get bigger and yes yeah, pretty clear um you probably notice there's a like the little crease right here but yeah if you own it long enough epa won't see anymore or you get used to it so yeah the thing that i fear the most with this phone is dropping this phone so as you know this phone retail for almost two thousand dollars and if you drop it i don't know how how could i fix it i'm not sure i'll pay to fix this phone apple you know you pay about three to four hundred to fix the phone uh, I don't know, this probably costs a little bit more. It depends on if you crack the outside or the screen on the inside. So yeah, Samsung gonna charge you an arm and a leg. That's the downside of this phone. Um, yeah, pretty scary, pretty heavy. I recommend you get like a really good phone case. You know, um, I ordered two phone cases. One is from Amazon. Well, I ordered two from Amazon. So we, I ordered two phone cases. This one is the Armory Z Fold series, and I think it's around $20. And I ordered this VRS, and this thing cost me about 60 bucks. So yeah, I'm gonna do that review later on, you know, on a different video. All right guys, so this is the next day. Um, overnight, it started loading all the apps. It takes several hours, so I just, you know, went to sleep and let the phone run by itself and after you let me see so after you finish so pretty much everything is pretty much the same you can see there's my my mail app the target app the google pay everything just line up perfectly after you sync so everything it's just the 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 wallpaper is different so you could change that anyway um after you change um the, another thing is you need to update your wallpaper, download your wallpaper. So yeah, and you need to log in to your like Google account and everything. So yeah, some of the email apps, they have the email already, but you still have to put in your credential. So as you can see, everything transferring out perfectly. This is my old one, this is my new one. So yeah, it looks exactly the same, pretty good. So yeah, two phones and I love this phone. Yeah, I wish uh, Samsung make it a little bit cheaper without the trade-in because this phone is like $1,800 after tax and everything. You pay up like $2,000. That's without trade-in. Um, if you have a Samsung that you want to trade in, um, they give really good deals, just like the Black Friday one that I got for this one. So yeah, so I'll end up paying like $1,040 and you get free uh, accessory with it like the wireless charger and the earbuds too from uh, Samsung. So yeah, that's the cool thing about it. Um, when did you own a Samsung? Yeah, you pretty much, you know, you want to stay with Samsung because you're in the ecosystem, just like Apple. If you're with Apple, you want to stay with Apple. So yeah, so yeah, everything like works perfectly. Yeah, I like the app and everything is in there, you know, um, just have to log in credential. Some of the games that doesn't transfer over the information, but at least you can have the app. So some of the games you have to replay from the beginning. Um, some of the apps like they load it up from the Google Play and yeah, it saved and it had the game saved. So that's good. So yeah, the downside of this is cost too much. It doesn't have expandable memory, uh, like the SD card. And this thing is a little bit on the heavy side. So yeah, those of you that like light phones or small phone this is not the phone for you but yeah once you own this phone you get used to it and you could flex your phone in front of everybody yeah not everybody have a galaxy fold 3 5g so yeah if you look at iphones everyone have iphone 12 13 uh, iphone 11 you know it's just like a regular slab of like phone you know look almost like all iphone pretty much look the same anyway yeah, I just like iMessage on my iPhone and FaceTime. So yeah, that's why I keep using iPhone. Actually, I use two phones. So yeah, one for Apple and one for Samsung. So yeah, so another downside is like if you have wired headset or, you know, earbuds, you want to use this adapter. You can get it on Amazon for like five bucks or you can get a pair for $8, which is really cheap, but 
you don't want to bring like an extra accessory with you you know and carry you everywhere and i know like um you know some of the folks like still use wired you know headset so um right now you know we come with earbuds so you know gassy buds too which came with this so yeah so you don't have to use the wire headset uh before it comes with the phone and like the power brick the cable and like a wired headphone and adapter too um this time it doesn't come with it just come with the usb type c wired so yeah some of the stuff that you have to buy for this phone the functionality of this camera um if you look at this version right here you can see the camera you can see a little bit you can see the pixel this is a four megapixel camera and yeah um even though they try to hide it but why do you want to do that and lower the resolution you know just keep it as is you know i don't mind the hole punch on the top just give me like a full 12 megapixel you know sensor up there and give me good cameras right um but the good side is to have other four cameras this size have three is that 12 megapixel and this one also is a fun facing camera so it's not bad at all um just the downside is like the inside camera but this one is 10 megapixel all these are 12 megapixel with different sensor and this one is a 4 megapixel so yeah um weight wise oh yeah and another thing is like the s pen so if those of you who like new s pen um this one is like the z fold edition this is from samsung you can buy this separate for like around 50 dollars or you can buy the case with this for 80 dollars so as you can see you can use the s pen and open up apps and everything videos you know um you can open your instagram you know emails it's pretty cool but the downside is the outer screen doesn't work so let me try to do this so the outer screen doesn't work so i wish it had the functionality of the outside too just remember the note I have one screen but it works pretty well and this thing doesn't have a place where you plug in your pen so you have to carry it separately on a pouch so that's the downside of this phone um otherwise you know it's a pretty good phone you know would i recommend this phone it depends if you like bigger phones like tablet size so the screen size of this phone is a 6.2 diagonally and if you open up it's a 7.6 and but it doesn't look big at all so here I have a uh, Amazon Fire 8 inch. So this is 7.6. Look at the size different. This thing is look a lot bigger than the Samsung Galaxy Fold 3. So yeah, the 8 inch is a lot bigger. And this is a 7.6. Looks kind of weird because this is more squared and this is more like a rectangle size. So yeah, just a size comparison. But overall, when it folds up, it's pretty nice. A pretty nice phone look look at design and everything look at the, look at that it's pretty nice i love the way it looks you, know, you can't go wrong with this phone unless you don't like the fold kind of phone you know what i'm saying but um it does record at 4k and it's really good quality just don't use the inside camera inside camera 4 megapixel this thing is worthless to me so i only use it like once and I don't like it at all. If you want to take selfie, this is the one to take, you know. Don't use that camera. Use this camera. There's a 10 megapixel in the back. The sensor is pretty big. It's kind of stick up a little bit right here. Um, but stability is kind of a wobble a little bit like this. But here, it's still wobble too when you fold it up. So, yeah, it just, when you put on a case, you probably won't notice. Uh, because everything kind of even out so let me try and lock this thing yeah so everything just even out when you have a case on another downside is the battery capacity is that you pay for like top dollars about two thousand dollars and the battery is at 4400 
milliamp, which is a small battery. I would expect this to be like around 5,000 milliamp. It'll last a lot longer. Um, I read online there's a lot of people complain about the battery life. Um, for me, I don't have a problem because I've been using this phone for about a month and I like it. Uh, it lasts me like the whole day. So it lasts a lot longer than the, the C Flip. I mean, the Flip, the battery a lot smaller and didn't last me as long. So yeah, that's why I move up to the C Hold 3 instead of the C Flip. And the wires charging at 25 is pretty quite fast though. If you hit zero, like near zero, and you charge up with your fast charger, this thing charge up really fast. You don't have to worry about that. It charges a lot faster than other phones. But uh, yeah, that's pretty nice. Um, it is a 5G phone. I'm on a T-Mobile. Uh, it's pretty fast for 5G. I get like around what, 50 download when I'm outside. And about upload is about 20 megabit per second. So it's pretty fast. And it's support for Wi-Fi 6, Bluetooth 5.0, pretty fast. You can sync up with your car, your wireless earbuds, it's pretty fast. One of the things is like the memory on this one is the 256. It comes with a 512, uh, uh, you know, internal memory. But I wish they made a one terabyte. You know, Apple right now to step up the game with, and it's one terabyte. I don't know if you guys gonna use it that much, but before, I use it with expandable memory with the SD card and I usually fill up my 512 really fast. So yeah. So if you take a lot of pictures, you better like, you know, get a USB and offload all your photos or something, or it'll take a lot, a lot of space on this phone and you know, which you don't like. And the Android 10 is pretty fast on this one. So very snappy, very quick. You know, I don't have a problem. Um, the phone is pretty quick. And the stereo speaker on this thing is like ultra high quality. You know, you can listen to music very awesome because um, it has dual speaker front and top or side to side. So you can see the speaker is pretty big on this thing. So a downside on this thing is the IPX um, rating. So it does have water resistant I don't think it's waterproof at all. Uh, water resistant for up to 30 minutes and at 1.5 meters. But for dust and stuff, you know, it's not dust resistant. And I think because it's the fold phone and when you fold in and out, stuff can stuck in, be stuck in the little fold area and go into your phone and might damage your phone. So you have to be careful if you're the one that work in construction, Go to beach a lot. Go where you live somewhere like in the desert where it's very dusty and windy. So you got to be careful with this phone. Um, if you have a case on, I don't think it matters that much. Just, you know, stay away from like dusty area, sandy area. And yeah, so yeah, everything is pretty good. I used this phone for 30 days and I got another one. So yeah, this is my input on the phone. If you like this phone, yeah, you should just grab it. This is the best time to get this phone. It's even like cheaper than when it first launched when you pre-ordered. So yeah, I wouldn't have a problem with this phone. Yeah, all right. I wanna just thank you guys for so much for watching and my name is David and I hope you enjoyed this video and hope this video is helpful. I'm gonna post a different video with all the accessory and cases and I'll try it on and let you guys see it. So thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace.